हेलो डियर लर्नर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम बायो केमिस्ट्री एंड क्लिनिकल पैथोलॉजी दैट इज बी सी पी सो वी आर ऑन द चैप्टर पैथोलॉजी ऑफ ब्लड एंड यूरिन वी आर ऑन पार्ट वन टूडे पार्ट वन फ्रॉम पैथोलॉजी ऑफ ब्लड एंड यूरिन इंक्लूड्स फ्यू ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द चैप्टर and here on pharmacy info line we are with mcqs along with the explanation so you can enjoy the mcqs with answer so to start with the first question the question is scientific study of disease which deals with causes effects mechanism and nature of disease is dash whether it is whether it is pathology whether it is biology whether it is physiology or oceanology to have the explanation we will go for explanation till that you can judge your answer and you can put it into the comment section aisa scientific study which includes ke ek particular disease ka nature kya hai wo kaise occur hota hai uske effects kya kya hote hai उसके कॉजेस क्या है ये सारा साइंटिफिक स्टडी जहाँ पे किया जाता है वो स्टडी को हम लोग पैथोलॉजी बोलते हैं बायोलॉजी बोलते हैं फिजियोलॉजी बोलते हैं या ओशियोनोलॉजी बोलते हैं सो वी विल गो फॉर द एक्सप्लेनेशन हियर नाउ इन पैथोलॉजी इट इंक्लूड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज डायग्नोसिस ऑफ डिजीज अर्ली डिटेक्शन एंड डायग्नोसिस देन ट्रीटमेंट प्लान्स ओके आउटकम्स of that diagnosis and we study about various other factors like its mechanism and causes etc from the diagnosis so the study is called pathology so the correct answer is it is pathology next question is functions of blood include dash whether the functions of blood include transport of oxygen and nutrient maintenance of osmotic pressure and body temperature transport of hormones and waste products or all of them so you can judge your answer from the various functions which i have enlisted and till that we will go for the explanation the components of blood first of all we are supposed to know before going to the functions so you all know the components of blood are it is plasma and it is about the cells like rbcs wbcs platelets okay so these are all the components which perform various functions like rbcs are to deal with the carrying oxygen throughout the body and remove carbon dioxide wbcs are the are having the prime role regarding the immune system okay to uh, to identify various pathogens and to fight against them then platelets have function in blood clotting they stop the bleeding then plasma is having the function like transporting the nutrients various hormones and proteins so these are all the cumulative functions of different components of the blood so the functions include here the, these are the cell uh, cellular fraction and plasma fraction this is the plasma fraction so these fractions they have various such functions so the correct answer is it is all of them transport of oxygen as well as nutrient yes it is done by rbcs then maintenance of osmotic pressure and body temperature transport of hormones and waste product which is the function of again plasma so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is composition of blood is dash whether the composition of blood includes plasma and blood cells or plasma and only rbcs plasma and only wbcs or respiratory gases and blood cells you can put your answer in the comment section we will go for the explanation now whereas the composition of blood is concerned if the whole blood is taken and it is centrifuge it is divided into some fractions so the fractions of the blood contains 
plasma which is a transparent fluid then you will find one buffy coat which includes wbcs and platelets and the colored portion which includes erythrocytes okay so these are the various components of blood so the correct answer if you'll see the answer is plasma and blood cells blood cells include wbcs rbcs platelets and plasma which is the transparent fluid next question is blood plasma contains dash whether blood plasma contains inorganic substances whether it contains organic substances whether it contains respiratory gases or all of them you can put your answers in the comment section till that we will go for the explanation and then you can cross check your answer so to start with the explanation the blood plasma if you will see here this this is plasma which is a transparent fluid and this is the cellular fraction okay so these includes rbcs wbcs platelets and the plasma fraction includes various constituents such as water various salts then plasma proteins and various other substances like uh, some important nutrients like glucose amino acids vitamins etc it includes waste products such as urea uric acid it includes respiratory gases such as oxygen carbon dioxide and various hormones so the correct answer if you will see the blood plasma contains or uh, inorganic substances also organic substances also like which contains carbon hydrogen bond inorganic are those which do not contain any carbon hydrogen bond then respiratory gases yes in the answer you have seen these are the various respiratory gases then some organic substances such as urea uric acid amino acids glucose okay along with the inorganic salts like here you can see the inorganic substances organic substances and respiratory gases so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is organic substances include dash whether the organic substances include waste material nutritive material both of them or none of them you can put your answers in the comment section till that we will go for the explanation now the organic substances as far as they are concerned they include various nutrients as well as the waste products which you can see here the substances which are transported by the blood so nutrient includes various essential elements like it is glucose amino acids vitamins etc waste products such as urea uric acid so it includes waste material yes nutritive material yes so the correct answer is it is both of them next question is blood cells fraction is composed of dash whether the blood cell fraction is composed of wbcs which is also known as leukocyte rbcs which are also known as erythrocytes platelets which are also known as thrombocytes or all of them you can put your answer in the comment section till that we will go for the explanation now in earlier question we have seen the composition of plasma that plasma constitutes what all components now remaining portion of blood is the blood cells so the blood cells if you will see here these are the blood cells which includes erythrocytes which are nothing but rbcs leukocytes which are nothing but wbcs platelets which are nothing but thrombocytes so these all are the blood cells so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is wbc fraction is composed of dash now it is about specific white blood cells that is leukocytes okay so whether the wbc fraction is composed of granulocytes uh, granulocytes both of them or none of them you can put your answer in the comment section till that we will go for the explanation now here if you will see the wbcs that is white blood cells which includes both the parts like granulocytes as well as granulocytes wherein granulocytes include ben 10 that is ben b e n basophil eosinophil neutrophil which is ben and they include granulocytes okay which is monocytes and lymphocytes so molly okay mona 
monali mona lisa also you can call it as which is wherein mona stands for monocytes and li stands for lymphocytes so monocytes lymphocytes and ben mona ben mona ben hai wbcs like mona is for monocytes lymphocytes which is, which is a granulocyte and ben is for basophil eosinophil and neutrophil so these are the wbc fractions so the correct answer is it is both of them next question is dash act as first line defense mechanism whether wbcs act as first line defense mechanism whether leukocytes whether white blood cells or all of them you can put your answer in the comment section till that we will go for the explanation now if you will see here the first line defense mechanism the diagram says it is white blood cells wherein just now we have seen there are granulocyte which contains granules and there are all granulocytes okay mona lisa ben so it is neutrophil eosinophil basophil and a granulocytes are monocytes lymphocytes so wbcs if you will see these are derived from the blood stem cells which are two uh, which are in two portions like myeloid stem cells are also there and lymphoid stem cells are also there so since the wbc is here you can see b lymphocytes t lymphocytes okay since this are derived from the lymphoid stem cells which are having their important role in immune system okay so it is about uh, wbcs wherein granulocytes are derived from the myeloid cells and all granulocytes are derived from the lymphoid cells so wbcs even they are also known by the uh, name called as leukocytes wherein you can find this okay wbcs and then it is uh, the full form of wbc that it is also called as white blood cell okay so the correct answer is it is all of them because wbc is nothing but abbreviated form of white blood cell and wbcs are also known by the name leukocytes so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is dash is involved in the formation of antibodies whether wbcs whether rbcs whether platelets or none of them so you can put you can put your answer into the comment section till that we will go for the explanation antibody formation see these are the secreted antibodies wherein you will if you will see the antigen when it is injected into some animals or if you can consider it as animal or humans also there are okay so antigen activates the b cells okay b cells here you have seen it is nothing but uh, wbc b lymphocytes t lymphocytes okay so wherein if you will go these b cells are activated and these plasma b cells will produce some antibodies okay so memory b cells and plasma b cells the antibodies which are secreted will bind with the antigen and they will form the complex and they will play uh, the play the role in fighting against some diseases okay so the correct answer is it is wbcs wherein you will see here it plays the role b cells plays the role so the correct answer is wbcs are involved in the formation of antibodies no rbcs no platelets next question is in case of immunodeficiency diseases number of wbcs will dash whether the number of wbcs in case of immunodeficiency diseases will increase whether it will decrease whether it will remain the same or none of them the correct answer is if you will see it will decrease now why it will decrease we will know the reason here in if you will see this chart penia is nothing but see the arrow it is decrease in number and philia is nothing but it is increase in number definitely philia is something which is loving okay while so it is increasing and penia is decreasing so if you will see here various immunodeficiency diseases like hiv okay so wherein this number of rbcs here penia so it will sorry number of wbcs wherein penia it will decrease okay 
so the correct answer is it is decreases in case of various immunodeficiency diseases the number of wbcs will decrease with this we finish with few of the mcqs from pathology of blood and urine thank you and stay tuned for the next parts from the same chapter pathology of blood and urine